Hey folks, Dylan Goodson here. I wanted to take a minute and talk with you about the wood carving seminars that I've got planned for this fall. For the gathering of wood carving class, the relief carving option is the Florida River relief carving scene here. Uh, this was a fun design with the manatee uh, swimming underneath the water in the design here. It's kind of a half and half type carving where the you know the manatee is done you know in the river down below and then from above the water line we see the dock and the house on the edge of the river this was inspired by uh, my wife and i we like to go vacationing uh, when we get the chance down in florida and see the manatees and so this design was inspired by that and it looks like a much more complicated carving than it actually is. The Gathering of Wood Carving class, that's a three-day class. So this is geared toward that. It looks like a pretty complicated building here, but actually uh, it's very simple to carve this and then all the details here are done with the wood burner. And I'll teach you how to do that. These four figures are part of a commission project that I'm currently working on. And they're each about seven inches tall, which is much smaller than what I typically do. Normally, the figures that I carve are 12 inches tall, like this Santa Claus. And the, the smaller size I found to be really fun to do. And uh, of course, it didn't take nearly as long as the larger carving. So that got me thinking that this smaller size would be good to do for a three-day class like I'll be doing in Sandwich, Illinois for the gathering of wood carvers. Of course it will make the details of the face and hands harder to carve, but I wanted to focus primarily on how to rough out and shape a uh, figure in a dynamic pose. You know, something's got a little bit of an action to it. Because I know a number of wood carvers that are just totally lost when it comes to starting off a carving from scratch on their own and not having it, you know, standing straight up and down, kind of like what this guy's doing. Uh, you know, with his hands in his pocket. You know, we want to get some life and some movement. So the design idea that I, after discarding a couple of different ideas, what I came up with is this idea of this cowboy here. And uh, he's kind of got a little worried look the way I've drawn his face. So I'm calling this guy the Greenhorn. And I think he's going to be a lot of fun to carve at this seven inch tall size. Uh, don't worry about the rope. We can make that out of wire. Um, and I'll show you what we can do with the face and the hands and the way we can simplify that a little bit um, so that it can be carved at this smaller size. But the main focus is going to be how to block this thing out. And to that end, I'm thinking to not use rough outs for this design, but instead start you off with a bandsaw cutout. So you'll get a little bit more, um, you know, wood to carve on and you'll, you'll have to go through that process of, you know, going from that, you know, sawn blank to getting your shaped and finished carving. So that's what I got planned for the class. I hope you'll join me at the Gathering of Woodcarvers in Sandwich, Illinois. So until then, happy carving.